Alright guys, um, doing a little prepping tonight, I'm going to do most of the cooking tomorrow, but what I've got here is, um, I went to the grocery store and bought a 10 pound bag of potatoes, they had them on sale for two fifty. that's pretty cheap, um, and I just rinsed them off, wrapped them in a aluminum bowl, put them in the bottom of the crock pot. If you're doing crock pot cooking, do yourself a favor and grab some of these liners. Um, firstly, because they make cleanup like non-existent because you don't use anything in it. But what I'm doing, since I've got potatoes on the bottom, I'm going to put this bag in. Get that good and down in there. And then I bought a whole chicken. Um, I typically would buy leg quarters because they're cheaper, but I couldn't find any. You can find them, when you can find them, for like 39 cents a pound. You can get a 10 pound bag for like four bucks. But I got a whole chicken for less than five bucks. I don't know if you can see that 486 there. Um, that's pretty cheap and it's a dollar 11 a pound. So it's about a four pound bird. Um, and all I did is open that, rinse it off, and then took the stuff out of it. Cause you know, it's a whole chicken. So they send you. And I'm just going to stick that and put a lid on it and let that go on high for about four hours. Um, those potatoes will cook, the chicken will cook, um, you'll have a lot of chicken broth because it's a whole chicken. All that fat will render down, you'll have like super fantastic chicken broth. You'll have baked potatoes, uh, I think I've got seven or eight in there. And they're not huge potatoes, but I mean... They're, they're russet baking potatoes. So, um, uh, I plan on making some chicken stew with most of this tomorrow. But, you know, throughout the week you could do chicken potatoes because you've got baked potatoes. So just take some of that chicken you can put down in there and put some cheese on it or whatever. Um, lots of stuff you can do with a crock pot and we'll get into that. But just showing a little prep work here before it all gets going. Have that chicken uh, and the potatoes underneath it. Those baked potatoes actually got some of them. And then for supper tonight, um, let that go for about four and a half, five hours. Uh, everything came out perfect. Um, all I did here was take a thigh and both wings off that whole chicken, just debone them, shred them up. And I've got some. Uh, just rough cut potatoes and some cabbage, those same potatoes that came out of the bag, and then I just had some cabbage. Um, both, you know, these are super cheap. Cabbage is like 50 cents a pound, so it's another good, cheap, uh, fresh vegetable you can put in here. And then I have what I like to call the grab five cans out of the pantry um, thing going on over here. Got some English peas, some green beans, uh, just a can of petite tomatoes, a can of like veg all. And then like some rotel with some green chilies and tomatoes in there. And then this um, is like, uh, well, it's the pizza sauce from the other night. Uh, and I just did a cup of it and a cup of water. Um, and it's basically the consistency of tomato soup. And that's pretty much what it is. The pizza sauce already had onion and garlic in it. So it's pretty flavored. Um, no seasoning in this because a lot of the canned stuff has a lot of sodium anyway. And you'll run the risk of getting stuff too salty. So put everything in and let it work. And then if it needs salt, add it later. Because um, you can't take it back out. So I'm just still got that broth in there from last night. So I'm just going to rip the chicken in the pot. soups, especially like tomato based soups, um, your beans, your corn, uh, stuff like that, drain it. Tomato, don't drain it because the juice that's in it is just tomato juice. So it just goes right in there. A little persuasion on this one, I guess.
good to go. So soup's been cooking all day. Just got in from work and whipped up some cornbread batter. Um, if you don't know what that is, you take cornmeal. If you don't know what that is, I'm sorry. It's basically flour made from corn. Anyway, um, this is self rising, and almost all of them, I think, have a recipe for cornbread on the back. But it's just like a cup and a third of milk, uh, two cups of this, and an egg, and some oil. I just use melted butter. But anyway, um, instead of preheating the oven and then cooking it for like an hour, you can heat up a skillet and put some oil in it and do these just like pancakes. And they go about a minute aside, something like that. Um, but while that's cooking, you have to sit here and watch me watch them cook. Um, just wanted to show, I've got nearly a half a chicken, probably a little more than a half a chicken left from what we cooked on the crock pot the other night. Let me get this. Make sure it doesn't stick. Make sure your pan's good and old too. And that'll help. And then, uh, I still have about a half a bag of those potatoes that I bought. They're probably 15 or 20 of those left also. We'll go ahead and cook this. Let's see. Yeah. All right. And then uh, off camera, I went ahead and made one for this soup, but it uh, comes out just like flat cornbread. And then I don't know how much detail you can get out of this soup, but it's chicken soup with vegetables in it. Um, I put cabbage in it. If you don't like cabbage, don't put cabbage in it. Uh, Okra would probably be good in it, but I don't eat okra, so I would say that it wouldn't be good in it. Um, any root vegetable, if you didn't want to put potatoes in it, you put carrots in it or whatever. If you didn't want to put any of that in there, it'd be fine. Any of those cans. Um, we'll just go over real quick, a rough estimate of what I've got in the food that's sitting here. So this was uh, almost $2. That was two fifty. so we'll just call that $5. The chicken was almost $5, so that's 10 Um there was five cans of vegetables in there that cost less than a dollar a piece. Well, we'll just say they cost a dollar a piece. So we're at 15 bucks, and I've got uh, probably a gallon of soup out of that. Uh, I had seven baked potatoes, and then all those potatoes that I can still use. Half a chicken or so left, and and cornbread, uh, and a whole bag of cornbread or cornmeal that I can use later. So all in all, super cheap, you know, that you could eat on for four or five days, really. Um, just uh, is what it is, you know, soup and potatoes and vegetables and cornbread. Um, it's It would be like a month long process if I showed you everything that you could cook in a crock pot in actual time. So I'm going to roll through some pictures of some stuff that I previously cooked in a crock pot and then I'll just kind of go over what I did with those real quick just uh, I don't know, probably got a dozen pictures or so of just some neat recipes and just stuff that you can do in a crock pot that most people don't think about doing in a crock pot but uh, we'll go through that and uh got some lasagna right here just like you'd cook in the oven just noodles meat cheese uh, sauce and you don't have to cook the noodles or anything, they'll cook right in the crock pot. Here's a corned beef brisket, cooked it in the crock pot. Uh, little caveat on cooking meat in there with skin. The skin does not get crispy. You can actually tell in this picture right here. So if you want crispy skin, cook it in the crock pot and then maybe broil it for a few minutes. Here's a deer shoulder roast that I do. Um, deer shoulder roast, if you know anything about them, they're super tough. But you put them in the crock pot for about seven hours, you'll wind up with something like this and it's absolutely fall off the bone. All that broth in there too, super important. If you will get a pack of brown gravy mix and mix in with that broth, just stir it up real good and then shred all that meat and put it back in the gravy and the broth, uh, let it go on warm for like 30 minutes, you'll wind up with some fantastic tasting and textured meat. Um, I usually have it with mashed potatoes because it's got gravy in it. Uh, it's good with any kind of vegetable. It's good by itself. The next day, it's good 
as a sandwich just like this right here uh, it's like a French dip in Swiss you know super good right here we've got some chicken and dumplings uh, that's just like chicken broth cream of chicken and then some dough and chicken and you can mix it up and put it in the crock pot it's great speaking of biscuits next week we'll talk about biscuits and what you can do with biscuit dough other than just biscuits we'll see you then